Monday, March 22nd. How's it going, everybody? So just to analyze the SPY, the Qs, and then go over the watch list like I normally do. So I have the SPY up right here. And the prior day, a little bit of an indecision candle, pulled back a bit, and it's in between a lot of the short-term moving averages. So kind of a mess. So just some of the levels that I'm looking at because I have no idea which way this is gonna go. Nobody has any idea which way this is gonna go. So just trying to navigate using the basic technicals. I have the nine EMA on the daily marked right at 391.66. I have the 20 SMA marked 388.17. It's kind of sandwiched in between. And then I have prior days high, which is 391.57 and prior days low, which is 387.15. And we are having a slight gap up. So now it's just about, can it hold this gap up or does it end up gapping up like it is and then selling off and then just trying to react to that price action as it's happening so that's the analysis on the spy and now just looking at the cues so the candle on the cues looks a little bit better kind of a bit of a disconnect between spy and cues just slightly because i feel like tech has been getting you know beat up but knowing that it is below the short-term moving averages so i just put the 9 ema 31540 the 20 sma is right at 315 as well so just knowing that 315 is a big area of resistance where a lot of these short-term moving averages are, it's trading right at it right now. So can the Qs hold that area and then maybe start to work their way higher? Or if it gets sold off, it goes to show that the 9 EMA, the 20 SMA is resistance once again. So just the basic levels that I have marked, 314.73, trading slightly above it. Just want to see if it can hold above that throughout the session. And then if for some reason things get weak, prior day's low, which is 309.66, I have absolutely no idea if we get there today. That is pretty far away, but just knowing where it is. And now getting into the watch list. So obviously watching my favorite stock, Tesla, it is gapping up on the big Kathy Wood price target saying that it's going to 3,000. Big move into a lot of resistance. Now this would have to really hold up. I mean, a lot of times these big gap ups, sometimes they can get sold. I have no idea what it's gonna do. So just having some basic levels marked. I have kind of this huge, this big red candle. You know, it's not the cleanest level, but just knowing that if there's anybody short from this red candle, if it gets above that, maybe they start to feel some pain and then who knows how far it can go. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be a big breakout day, but just knowing that they would be underwater. So the high of that candle is 689.23. I have pre-market high marked 684.85. And then also it's trading above the short-term moving averages right now, the nine and the 20, if it can hold above it, then maybe this can get above 700. Doesn't mean it has to get there today, possibly start the next leg higher, but it obviously has to hold these first. I'm also watching Facebook, just because Facebook is showing a lot of relative strength, finally broke out of a period of consolidation and keeping it very simple, really just looking at prior days high. 292.80, if it can get above that, feels like maybe this can continue. And then I'm also watching low because low looks really good. So just pulling this back a bit, looking at the six month all time high, 180.67. So if this breaks 180.67, that would be a new all time high. So that 180.67 is the main level I'm looking at. And then I'm also looking at BABA, not really in love with the chart, but just knowing that it has been in a period of consolidation for a little bit, this little prior pivot high area, kind of right around the 241, 242 area. It has reclaimed the short-term moving averages above the nine, above the 20. So I have prior days high marked. If it gets above 241.60, it is gapping down. So it's showing some weakness. So I'm definitely not in a rush to trade this. It's This is kind of a, if the market starts to turn, shows a lot of strength, and then this can go green. If it takes out this 241.60, this looks pretty good to the upside. It maybe has some room to the 50 SMA on the daily, does not have to get there in one day, but just knowing that it did reclaim these other short-term moving averages, maybe it can get there to right around 248, 249. And then the last stock I'm watching on my watch list is UPST. So just big momentum, huge day one move out of you know kind of a little bit of a pullback, period of consolidation, big day one move, held that move. I really wish that it had consolidated just below the high, but you know not, not everything sets up perfect the way you want. Nice candle the day prior. So really, I'm just looking, this is pure momentum. It's on the move. I have no idea how far it's gonna go. It did get an upgrade this morning. And the main level that I'm looking at is the all-time high, 128.80. If it takes that out, it feels like this has more upside. So that's the watch list and all the technicals. And now I'm just gonna try to be patient. I don't wanna take any really quick trades off the open. 
let things shake out a little bit, especially on a Monday. And then hopefully if something can set up clean, I'll give it a shot. Okay, so waiting for the bell. And as you can see, look at Tesla. Already took off. I mean, it has gapped up a lot. So to want to chase something that has a big gap up is tough enough already. But even if I decided to, hey, let's, let's give this a chance. I don't love to see a huge move right before the bell. You know, it would have been nice to have this happen off the open. Doesn't mean it can't set up, but I'm not in a rush. I'm patiently going to wait. I mean, this is that's already a crazy move off the open, but there's the bell. And now I'm just going to hang back, let things shake out, and then see if hopefully there's a clean setup. You know, in a perfect world, I really would have liked Tesla to pull back, consolidate for a bit, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes of consolidation, and then have that high of day for a possible trade. Doesn't mean that it can't go higher, but that's what I like. I'm a big fan of things pulling back off the open and then starting to work its way back towards high of day. That's just personal preference. So we'll see what happens here. This is a bit of a crazy candle. Does this consolidate for a bit? Maybe form some sort of flag pattern, but it has gapped up a decent amount, so I wanna make sure to be careful about chasing it. And that could have been a really quick flag pattern, but it's just not what I'm going for. And that was a very quick scalp. Could have taken it, been up a couple points, really nice trade. I don't wanna take, especially on a Monday, three minutes into the open. <laughs> I want to be very careful about what I'm doing. And sometimes I'm willing to let things just go by. So that way, you know, I don't take really quick trades, have the possibility of it being a very fast loss. First thing, first trade of the week. So even though I missed a bit of an opportunity there, I felt better about just not taking it. And there it goes. And this can be an easy spot where a lot of people get FOMO. And to be honest, I have zero FOMO whatsoever. It just came from right around 683. I mean, that is 10 points straight up. So I wanna see a long period of consolidation before I consider giving this any chance whatsoever. And that was a big move up. I wanna see if it can even continue to hold this move before I consider doing anything too. And now with the big gap up, Tesla actually looks like a downside flag. I wanna be very careful to short it, but this price action is showing that at least for the short term right now, sellers are definitely in control. Low of day, 682. Wanted to try to just give that a, a shot for a possible really quick scalp. 682 is low of day. Can we get a quick flush? Whole number. Okay, 681. Can we break 681? Close. Just got out of that. So that, that had the chance right there to go and then instantly got bought back up. So I just got out of it because I don't want to be a part of that pullback. Quick with the trade. If it doesn't go, just get out of it. Facebook. Coming up to high a day, definitely extended. I mean, that's a lot of green candles in a row. I would love some sort of flag pattern, but Facebook's been strong on the daily chart and prior day's high is 292.80. So if Facebook can put some sort of flag in, I'd be willing to give it a chance. Okay, so I'm gonna take Facebook right there, right near the break. And I just wanna see this go pretty quick. Got filled at 545. I don't expect a huge move because it's already had a big move, but just a quick little pop would be great to scout. Tape not super aggressive. This is definitely not a Tesla. So I don't expect gigantic moves on this. But starting to pull back a little bit. I'm just going to get out of that. Just to be safe. That was a huge move. Figured it looked all right. Did not go as quick as I wanted. Pulled back. Get out of the trade. So this is starting to look like a flag pattern. But spying cues are strong. So I'm just trying to be careful here. 679 gets taken out. I feel like there's some downside room here. For a quick move. 2390 got filled. Nice move. Just broke the flag. Does it have any sort of follow through? There we go. Nice break. All right. Just coming out of that for a small win. Was trying to give it a, a second for a little bit more follow through. Just didn't go. But Tesla is now trending down. So this is starting to look like another flag. I want to be careful with continuing to trade this, continue to chase it. But if SPY and Q start to show a little bit of weakness, you know, maybe Tesla can work its way into the gap. So looking at the puts, the next strike out of the money, if it takes out that low of day, is 675. So looking at the 675 puts for a possible another flag pattern. 677. Then we got low of day, 676.50. Can it take that out? Filled it 2220. Coming out of that. That should have went right away. Just bail. Throw the position if it doesn't go fast. That was just an example of go quick or get out. That was a nice flag pattern that I wanted to see follow through and it just did not. Still looks weak though. Give it another chance right there. 677, would like to see that break down. 
Just want to see this speed up. Got filled at 2203. I'd like to see 676 drop. Order. All right, that, that didn't go as quick as I wanted to see it, so I just got out of it for a very tiny win. Starting to feel like I'm overtrading a little bit. And then especially on a Monday, I know how that, that goes. Take way too many trades and then all over the place. I want to give the low a day of breaks a shot right there. Just trying to go with the trend. 674, nice move. Just hanging around 674. Okay, coming out of that once it started to bounce. Wanted to try to give it a chance, but I did get the quick move, so just take it. You know, it was it was hanging around 674 a couple times. Figured it had that chance to possibly just wash out real quick. The moment it bounced off of it, just take the profits. 674, flag break. So we'll see if there's a little bit more downside room into the gap. 673, very nice, whole number break. Okay, started to bounce. This is definitely getting extended, so I want to make sure to be very careful about continuing to chase this. Got the quick move and just got out. So I'm glad that I was able to get today recorded because it just goes to show that not every single day is super exciting. I try to do my best to put the more exciting days out there because I figured that's what everybody wants to see, kind of the big winners or the big losers. But every now and then, or actually a lot of the days, are kind of like this. And I, I felt like I started to overtrade. I kind of got the Monday, I want to be involved, I want to take a lot of trades, I want to make a lot of money mindset, and that's a decent amount of trades, and lucky enough, I ended up coming out about flat. So this is a point right now where I know, just based on you know my emotions, kind of my psychological state, the amount of trades that I've taken, that I am better off calling it a day, walking away, and realizing that I have taken a lot of trades, I can't get that much going, so there's no need to continue to press it and go crazy. And just to go into the portfolio, I am down $6 on the day. And the most important thing is just accepting these days and not feeling the need to have to turn a flat day into a super red day like I can be guilty of doing. Hopefully your trading was a little bit better. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.